Now, this is the honest truth and not a lie. Yesterday, I had to buy some new socks to go out and do my walking, and I wore the first pair yesterday. At the end of the day, as I was getting ready to go to bed, I took off the socks and threw them on the floor beside the bed, and then this morning went back to pick them up and put them in the wash. Guess what I found? One. One sock. I had already lost the other side of the pair, and they've never even been washed. Don't you have that experience a lot of times? I think one of the great mysteries of the world is what happened to that extra sock. Because all of us seem to find socks that have disappeared in the wash, they have evaporated in the dryer, something happened to them. We don't know what happened to all the lost socks in the world. Sometimes I think there must be a place somewhere where all of these socks are gathered and it's the size of a pretty large island because it's happened to all of us. Aren't you glad that the Lord never loses track of you? That there is never a time when he will say of your soul or my soul or anybody's soul, well, I left it here yesterday and I'm not sure what happened to it. I'm still trying to find it. The truth is, we have our security in Christ. No wonder Paul wrote this in the third chapter of the book of Philippians. More than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them but rubbish, that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. And be found in Him. Aren't you glad to know that you are found in Christ Jesus? He knows you. He loves you. He cares for your soul. Let's pray. Father, today we just pray, thanking you for the assurance we have that we are found in Christ Jesus. And found in Christ is not like being a lost sock. It is being in a secure place with a God who loves us and will never forget us. Thank you, Lord, in Christ's name. Amen.